The Millionaire's Gift Giving Guide, coming up. Everyone, this is Dr. Nesto from Attaboy Cowboy and on this channel we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. Now I know that not all of us are millionaires but at least most of us would like to become millionaires and what better way to do so than to learn some of the habits of the rich and successful people in the world. So let me give you the top five recommendations for gifts during the holiday season. Let me explain why I think this is so important. The average person spends so much money during the holiday season that it takes them between six months and a year to pay off the debt they incur. So think about that. You have Christmas, it's one night, it's awesome, you give out a bunch of gifts, and you're gonna be working for six months to pay off that debt. That means that you're probably spending, most of us at least, are spending a lot of money. So if you're gonna be spending that much of your resources, you wanna make sure that it's having an impact on someone's life, especially since you're most likely giving it to your friends and your loved ones. I wanna make sure at least that whenever I give, is going to have effects for years to come rather than just one night and then end up in the trash. That's another thing that's important. 99% of everything that is made ends up in a landfill within six months. That's a fact. So everything you see around here in this picture is probably going to be in the trash probably in the next six months or a year. Maybe more since I don't really throw stuff away very much, but it doesn't last very long. So you want to make sure it has an impact. So let me give you my top five. Tip number one, experiences. What better way to enjoy life than have some awesome experiences? Uh, what types of experiences? Well, museum passes, museum memberships, uh, amusement park passes like Disneyland, Universal Studios. If you can afford it, plane tickets, vacation packages. If you can't do something that awesome, <laughs> then just buy some movie tickets or some gift cards for a nice restaurant or maybe somewhere that you know someone likes to go, like they like to go to the bowling alley, or they like to go to the batting cages, or something like that, so you can try something, salsa lessons. Look into experiences. Experiences are what make your life meaningful and memorable. You're not gonna remember those extra days or those extra hours you worked, or the time you bought you know, this cool tree or whatever, those things fade. But what you do remember the experiences, wow, I remember I went on this cool trip, my brother and his friends, and we drove all the way to Houston, I remember the, that time we all went to the batting cages and we were there all day partying, you know, all the guys. I mean, that stuff is invaluable. It's just there's no price tag for it. So, so if you really want to give something that's meaningful, consider giving an experience to someone, especially someone that can't afford to do something and you know they've always wanted to do it. Tip number two, food. Okay, so I don't like to give away stuff that's going to end up in a landfill. So I like to give cool stuff that I know maybe someone might not afford or something that they're maybe not gonna buy. So I buy them like really good olive oil. This is from California, it's organic, it's really good quality. I give nuts, a lot of nuts, pistachios, almonds, you know, fancy stuff like that to people. As part of food, I also give supplements. Um, if you have friends that are anti-vaxxers, you can give them bottles of vitamin D since it's been shown to help treat COVID. That's a good gift, you can keep them alive. <laughs> protein powder, vegan protein powder. Just about anything that you know the person might like, food gifts are awesome because everybody needs to eat and drink. So you know they're not gonna get thrown out in the trash, especially if you give them something really good. Tip number three, educational materials. And remember, this goes for children and adults. I, I use these same strategies. So for adults or children, puzzles, mind games, like things that are gonna get, help build their brain capacity, especially young children who like stuff like that. Buy them a chess board teach them how to play chess or Chinese Go or something new that they haven't tried before. You can even give them stuff like really cool books like these books. <laughs> how to lose weight, how to become rich and successful, the millionaire next door. You can try a lot of this stuff. Um, I, I love to give books to people because people really like that. If they like to cook, you can give them fancy cookbooks. Tip number four, self-improvement. A lot of my friends, they don't really know how to take care of their skin and my friend Tony Wang showed me. so. I like to give them like witch hazel, toner, skin cream, stuff like that, sunblock. I show them how to take care of their skin. I give them that as a, as a gift to have nice skin. Another thing you can consider are supplements. 
things that help them with uh, weight loss or erectile dysfunction or whatever issues you think they might be having or just general health. You just want to give them some multivitamins, stuff like that. You can Google and look up what types of health problems someone might have. You know, if they're overweight or they're sluggish or whatever, you can look up some good supplements for them. Also, like uh, exercise equipment, therapeutic equipment. This is used for spine realignment. It's called a spine works. I really like this. I've given this to a lot of my friends, help them with back problems. They have shoulder problems. I give them a muscle hook. This is like to massage knots out of your shoulder. It's good if you have problems with your shoulders or your arms. If someone wants to get in shape, you can give them workout bands. I just have, they have a really good friend named Sean that owns this company called Anchor Gym. They have these cool anchors. You can attach them to any door or you can bolt them into a wall. You can make a good home gym. I have the bands. I have the whole workout. And actually, since the pandemic started, I stopped going to the gym and I never went back. So I realized, you know, I'm really busy and it's inefficient to drive to a gym to do exercise and then drive back home. It really doesn't make a lot of sense. So I just kind of combine it with my daily routine. When I wake up in the morning, I start exercising. If I'm gonna watch a movie, I pull out my anchor gem equipment and I start exercising. Now I do two for one, a lot more efficient, get myself in shape, and you can do the same with your friends. If they're children or adults, as part of that, you can give them something like a basketball, baseball stuff, rollerblades, skateboards, anything for personal fitness is great. It helps build up your brain. It's good for your health, your physical health, your psychological health. A lot of people have been experiencing a lot of depression because of COVID. They need to get outside to get sunlight. Remember, if you don't get at least 30 minutes a day of sunlight, it's like smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. So I don't know about you, but I wouldn't like to be smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. That's really bad for you. So if you have people you know that are not getting out a lot, give them something that's going to encourage them to get outdoors. Maybe a badminton set, maybe some rackets to play tennis or racquetball. Anything like that, like sporting equipment, is really good. And then tip number five, financial gifts. Those are probably one of the best gifts you can give a lot of people. You know, you can give them, like if they're remodeling their house, you can give them Home, Home Depot gift cards, Lowe's gift cards. Cash is nice. People like cash. You know, you might think you want to go buy, like, some, I don't know, some toy or jacket or whatever. But just remember, a lot of it's going to just end up in the trash. It's going to cause more global warming. It's going, to caught up in, so it's going to be caught up in boats and supply chain problems on boats from China. It just causes a lot of environmental problems. Just give them some cash. Save yourself the gas money, the time from driving to the store. You know, if you have friends that are trying to do something like buy a house or build up their credit, you can do something cool like adding them as an authorized user on your credit card. Credit card piggybacking. Remember, I do credit card piggybacking and some people pay up to $2,000 just to be added to one of my credit cards for one month. It's a very valuable tool. I have credit cards that are like $300, $2,000. It's a lot. So, I mean, I can add someone to one of my credit cards. I can help build up the credit. That's invaluable. It could change your life. So consider financial tools. I know my friend Warren used to give all his nieces and nephews uh, savings bonds. And I have other friends that are wealthy that give their friends investment accounts. Like they'll open up a an account with Robinhood or Scott Trade or whatever, you know, financial institution. They put 50 bucks, 100 bucks in there, and they do investing for them. They give their kids shares of Tesla or Apple. You know, that stuff makes a big difference, and you can start teaching your kids about investing. It's actually kind of cool. If you get your kid a smartphone or a laptop and you open up a, an investment account for them, you can start teaching them about investing and showing them all the graphs so they can see all their investments are going up and down. It's really cool. And it makes a big difference. So, and in general, just remember all your loved ones, your friends, your coworkers. Um, if you don't have a lot of money, you don't want to buy them a gift, at least write them a Christmas card. I have some really special friends from all over the world. I actually look forward the whole year from getting Christmas cards from them. Like my friend Moriko Kobayashi in Japan, my friend Tony Wang in Taiwan. I have friends in India and in Africa, South America, in Mexico City, my friend Alistair. I just really like getting their Christmas cards and it's, just shows that you matter to someone that you care. So you can spread happiness just by doing something simple like that. You don't have to add more trash to the landfills. So during the holidays, just be conscientious. Try to buy things that are environmentally friendly. If you can, use recycled products for wrapping paper, like newspaper or packaging from things that are, uh, other things you might have bought. You know, it looks nice for wrapping paper, but it's also in style and cool to recycle. You can use the money you save to buy your friend or family member a better gift. 
So thank you again for listening. And from Los Angeles, California, this is Dr. Ernesto Martinez. Thank you and goodbye.